Uh, hi friends, my name is Dr. Saf and uh, today I am going to uh, speak on a very important topic that is the role of corticosteroids in uh, COVID-19 patients. Uh, I am going to answer very specific questions like uh, whether corticosteroid reduces the mortality or not. Second question, what type of corticosteroid we should use, when we should start the steroid, what is the dose of the steroids. Okay and uh, what type of patient we should start so i'm going to answer these questions one by one so first important thing is that we should know that steroids are very very useful as has been delineated by uh, uh, a systematic meta-analysis which was published in uh, jama last year in september and uh, the name of this meta-analysis was react meta-analysis which combined the data from seven large randomized controlled trials on steroid in COVID-19 patients. They concluded that administration of systemic corticosteroid compared with usual care or placebo was associated with lower 28-day mortality. What does WHO say about the use of corticosteroid? WHO strongly recommends the use of corticosteroid in oral or IV form in patients who are severe or critically ill with COVID-19. WHO advises against the use of corticosteroid in non-critical, non-severe COVID-19 patients. So please do not use steroid in patients who have mild to moderate COVID-19 illness. Otherwise, you will be facing more problem rather than any good. So the patients may suffer with super added infection, hyperglycemia, delayed viral clearance if you start early in the course of uh, disease. What about dose? The dose of corticosteroid which has been suggested for dexamethasone in COVID-19 severe to critically ill patients is uh, 6 mg OD IV only. In recovery trial and also currently steroid 2 trial, they have suggested to use either 6 mg OD IV or 6 mg BD IV only. And dexamethasone was uh, uh, the preferred corticosteroid in these trials, followed by hydrocortisone, uh, which has been shown to be also efficacious in the dose of uh, 50 mg TDS or 100 mg BD. If you are thinking of Vesolone or prednisolone, then the dose is 40 mg OD. And if you are thinking methylprednisolone to be used, then the dose is 32 mg OD or uh, uh, 40 mg OD of methylprednisolone. Though the evidence base for use of methylprednisolone is good now because we have randomized controlled trial which has come up. It said that we can use the higher dose of methylprednisolone like 250 mg OD for 3 dose that is pulse dose of methylprednisolone and that showed a, a remarkable improvement in mortality. So the question is when to start the corticosteroid for the maximal benefit. Well, the average time to start the corticosteroid was 13 days in recovery trial for mechanically ventilated patients. So those patients were quite sick. and. Uh, Definitely, you should not use the corticosteroid in early phase of the disease because it can cause delayed viral clearance. So, definitely, you should avoid the steroid in the uh, first week of uh, onset of illness, COVID-19 illness. Uh, for how long we should continue the corticosteroid? So, guidelines suggest that we should continue the corticosteroid for at least 7 to 10 days and then uh, stop. You can taper and stop or you can directly stop it. That depends on patient's clinical condition and that is left to the physician's discretion. So, as I was saying that there is a very good trial which was conducted uh, in uh, severe COVID-19 patients who were hospitalized and uh, they gave pulse dose of intravenous methylprednisolone in the dose of 250 milligram per day for three days. There was... Uh, significant improvement in the mortality rate. So uh, when they used methylprednisolone, the mortality rate was 5.9% uh, compared to the mortality rate 42.9% uh, in the placebo group. And uh, there is a strong evidence for methylprednisolone 
that it is superior to dexamethasone. So you know what are the side effects uh, mainly hyperglycemia whenever you start the corticosteroid you have to manage the hyperglycemia which is defined as the RBS more than 140 milligram per deciliter is the higher cutoff of sugar in hospitalized patient to say that admission hyperglycemia. But definitely hyperglycemia more than 200 milligram per deciliter is associated with complications okay like super added infection fungal infection so you should avoid uh, uh, hyperglycemia and try to control the sugar as far as possible with your IV uh, or subcutaneous uh, insulin protocols and uh, I hope that uh, you would be able to use this information in managing your patients so thank you so much